People have been altering photos nearly as long as photography has existed. Retouching, cropping, and compiling photos can be done for many reasons. To improve the aesthetics, to clarify a message, or perhaps for more questionable reasons. Now, as we enter this uncertain era of fake news, we are often reminded that what we see may be inaccurate. Social media feeds are full of altered photos and video, causing us to constantly question what is real and what has been, as they say, photoshopped. Today, even an inexperienced user can easily obtain sophisticated image editing software for their home computer. In the hands of a professional, this software can make it nearly impossible to identify manipulations by the naked eye. Multimedia Forensics uses signal processing to examine multimedia documents to identify their source and whether they've been altered or manipulated. In digital photography, there are always inherent traces left behind from the process of taking the photo. All devices leave a specific fingerprint on the photo they capture. This fingerprint is related to the specific optical system, color sensor, and other properties of the camera. By analyzing these details, we can identify what kind of device was used to acquire the photo. All commercial cameras include metadata tags in their photos. These tags are the first and easiest way to identify the make and model of a camera. However, these tags are not always reliable as they can be modified or deleted, such as when images are uploaded to social media. There are still several ways, however, of identifying the digital acquisition device. Every camera senses color in different ways. Light enters through the lens and is filtered through a color filter array that creates a pattern. Each device will use a different method for creating this pattern, which at a minimum allows us to identify the brand of camera that was used. Another way to identify the digital acquisition device relies on that model's unique sensor imperfections. These imperfections are referred to as photo response non-uniformity, or PRNU for short and it creates patterns within the images, known as noise. Referencing the noise print of each camera allows us to univocally identify the camera or device. Now, once we can identify the device used for acquisition, we can then look for evidence that there are images from multiple devices that exist within a single image. This is almost always an indication of image manipulation or tampering. When digital identification is not enough to identify image manipulation, there are still ways that signal processing can be used in multimedia forensics. First, all digital images use compression, with the most common format being JPEG. When an image is saved, compression artifacts are formed within the image, and these are compounded each time the image is saved or manipulated. When two images are combined, the compressions become dissimilar. Signal processing can also be used to look for areas within an image that have been copied and pasted, often to disguise parts of an original image. Another detail that can reveal image manipulation is when different parts of an image seem to contain different light sources. This can be done by examining the light sources reflected in eyes or the direction of shadows cast on various objects throughout the image. By building a model of expected light direction and searching for differences when compared to the image in question, manipulation becomes more evident. All of these techniques apply to video as well when analyzed frame by frame. Signal processing can also be used to reconstruct 3D trajectories of movement and compare them to expected movement based on real-world physics. Signal processing is a powerful tool within multimedia forensics. And, as amazing as these examples are, they only scratch the surface of what it's capable of. For instance, did you know that a sound can be analyzed using the power line signal to determine where in the world it was recorded? Yeah. All of these technologies are widely used in forensic applications. Police can validate photo and video evidence. Lawyers can authenticate documents. The military can deconstruct propaganda and many other uses. As we continue to search for accuracy and integrity within the news, multimedia forensics and signal processing will have an ever-expanding role in all our lives. Now, more than ever, we need to know when seeing is actually believing.